feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Love you from the first time you call me lay. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my first video of 2019. Loki already recorded this intro and said 2018. Uh, 2018. Cancelled. <laughs> Anyways, in today's video, I really want to film responding slash answering your guys' assumptions about me. I've seen a bunch of people do that on the internet recently. So, you all want to join in because I want to see how well you guys know me, you know? I asked you guys on Instagram, which if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, this is it right here. It's a good time. Come say hey. I always reply to comments over there. But I asked you to hit me with some assumptions. We got a lot. I didn't peek. I saw like two. I did peek. I saw two or maybe like three. Apart from that, I don't know what you guys said. So, we're going to answer those. If you guys haven't hit subscribe already, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, the other button that comes up after you hit the notification bell that says all videos because that's the thing. Let's get into the video. Hope you guys like it. Oh, comment down below if you guys have any more assumptions about me and I'm going to respond to a bunch of comments. Do that. Okay. We're staying hydrated in 2019. Ah, I said 2019. <laughs> Kate thought I was going to say 18. I was waiting for the 18. I have looked at these, but I've only looked at like two of them. You said three, five minutes okay. ago. I've looked at a low number of these under 10. <laughs> How do I even bring this up? Because it's not on my story anymore. So if they've disappeared. <sighs> I thought that they were gone. I was like, what am I going to film? All the first ones are, I assume that you love Kane. Let me just think about that one. He's all right. Next assumption is that I didn't go to college. A bunch of people actually asked this. But you all did go to the first year of university. I did like journalism, but I didn't really like that. So I changed my class to public relations and communications. So I got first year public relations and communications. And I wasn't like really sure what I was trying to do at uni. So I decided to defer. And literally like two months after I deferred, my YouTube channel took off. So I don't really know if that means I'm still deferring or if I dropped out. <laughs> Okay, this is literally not a assumption, but <laughs> it's here, so I'm gonna read it. It says, you're very loud and annoying, not an assumption, an observation. <laughs> Brooke said, Kane was your first boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> is it weird that I like talking about this kind of stuff? Kane wasn't my first boyfriend. Kane was actually like my fourth boyfriend, but like we had like some of those two second high school boyfriends. One guy that I dated, he broke up with me after like a second. He told someone to tell me that we weren't a thing anymore. None of them were really that serious, so that's the tea. The tea. <laughs> <laughs> I think that you were super popular in high school. I wasn't super popular. That was two popular groups at school that was like, do I say this? Is this rude? Not really. <laughs> There was two popular groups at my like school in my grade. There was like the popular girls that like to party. <laughs> and then there was like popular girls that didn't like to party. Like there was like two different groups and I wasn't really part of either of those. Like I had friends in both of those groups, but like I wouldn't say, actually I didn't even have that many friends. I don't know what I'm saying. I wasn't popular though. Someone assumes that I was a very bubbly child. I feel like I was bubbly when I was like actually a child, like six. But then after that, as soon as I got into like grade five through to high school and beyond, I was not bubbly. My favorite song was called Miserable at Best. You have a cute boyfriend. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> you answer, which one? <laughs> oh, which boyfriend? I assume that you're pretty lazy. If I'm lazy, I might not be filming this video. Ooh. I feel like I can be lazy. I feel like everyone can be lazy, but I'm super good at procrastinating tasks that I just like don't want to do. But I feel like I'm like not that lazy. Do you reckon I'm lazy? You're not, but like when you want to be lazy, you're super lazy. Someone said, you and Kane never fight. <laughs> Kane and I do fight, guys. I mean, I feel like every couple fights a little bit, but Kane and I just get in arguments about the stupidest stuff freaking ever. <laughs> this is kind of awkward because Kane and I got in an argument yesterday about something that was in 2018, and I was like, literally, we need to stop. <laughs> I get over things super quickly. Like, I could just like eat some food, have a coffee, and by the time I do that, I'm over it. We don't hold grudges over here. Kane doesn't hold grudge either, but he's just a little bit more sensitive than how do you 
you feel that I just told the internet that you're sensitive. I assume that your mom loves you and thinks you are very famous, which you actually are. <laughs> My mom thinks that I am literally Kim Kardashian. <laughs> like, it's the cutest thing ever, but also, like, I don't know what to say because, I don't know, it's so awkward. She's cute. She's supportive. She's a proud mom. If you're watching this, mom, love you. Thanks for giving birth to me. Someone said that I'm engaged. <laughs> no, it must have been like some top secret thing that I wasn't there for. I don't think that Kane and I are gonna get engaged anytime soon. Kane's like got the ring in his pocket. He's like, oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. I, feel, I don't even know if I want to answer this one because it's just gross, but like I think I'm gonna do it. You drink three cups of coffee a day and have major coffee poops. <laughs> Isn't that how like everyone does it? A lot of these actually say you were really rich when you were growing up. This is not true. I grew up and my parents were divorced when I was like six years old. I just had like my mom. When I was in school, like we didn't buy my school photos because we didn't have any money to buy them. And shout out to my best friend, Holly. One year she literally bought my school photos from for me. I feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Holly and I always talk about that, but like, yeah. We didn't have a lot of money, like, that's it. Okay, this one kind of like goes on from the next one, but it says you're really bad at saving money, which isn't true because we didn't have money when I was growing up. I feel like I'm like freaking bomb at saving money. The only person that is bad at saving money in this apartment is Kane. Hey! Kane is not good at saving money. He loves a little temptation. He loves treating himself. I also feel like because I didn't have money when I was growing up, Kane always like wants to buy me stuff. Next assumption is that I'm not committed to my YouTube channel, which makes my heart sad that anyone would think that. I'm definitely committed to my YouTube channel. I feel like it would come across that I am not because I don't know, I feel like last year I wasn't consistent at posting every single week. But the year before that, I would never miss an upload ever but your girl just had a lot of anxiety over just stupid stuff last year and over my little break that I've been taking I've been learning how to control that a little bit better but honestly when I have anxiety I just literally am not trying to film a YouTube video I'm not trying to pretend that I feel a certain way when I don't so your girl's committed I really want to like keep up posting at least once a week on my YouTube channel I'm sorry if you guys feel like I'm not committed to my YouTube I promise that I am I feel like it comes across that way when I like don't post because I have anxiety and then I don't address that that's the reason why I'm not posting. It just looks like I'm being lazy. Okay, I want to ask you this question because I don't really know. Yeah. I assume that you are very hyper off camera as well. Do you think I'm hyper off camera as well? Yeah, I do. Do you you're think fun. I'm more hyper on camera or off camera? I feel like you're always hyper on camera, but in person, like I see you more and you nap sometimes. I am a hyper napper. Like I like being hyper, but then I got to take a nap. Yeah, because you're fun. Like I feel like I don't know many people that are like fun like you. I'm I feel like, like sometimes I might even be more hyper off camera, but like I don't want to be a weirdo on camera. So I try and turn it down. Yeah, I think you do that too. Sarah's really fun. So I'm really fun. Yeah, no, like don't take- Sarah is really <laughs> fun. Assumption number like 5 million is you have naturally clear skin. <sighs> I wish. <laughs> At the moment, you can't really see. Probably for like the last two months, I have been breaking out so freaking bad. I actually went and got like a bunch of stuff done to my skin the other day. This is what my skin looked like about a week ago. It, you can't really see because of the lights right now, but it's it's getting clearer. But your girl also had cystic acne when I was in high school. Your girl does not have naturally clear skin. I assume that you change apartments a thousand times a year, but the question is why? We move because every time we move into an apartment, they decide to build something else right next to it and it's too loud to film next to so that's why we moved. <laughs> we all did only live in our last apartment for like two seconds because they started construction next door and like it was like a 90 story building and I just like wasn't trying to live through 90 stories worth of construction so we moved. I assume that your mom is 54. <laughs> I don't know how old my mom is. Come on mom. Hey. Hey mom I just had to ask you a question. Yeah. I was just wondering, how old are you? Nearly 48 on the 21st of March, don't forget that. Don't forget it? I'm 48 years old. My mom is turning 48 on the 21st of March. <laughs> I just act like a little baby, don't I? Mom, is just speaking in the weirdest voice. Okay, I'm going to call you later. Call me baby. Bye. Okay, bye. Why was my mom speaking like a little kid just then? <laughs> She's going to be so embarrassed when she watches this. Last time I filmed a video and I called her, 
She was like, can you stop calling me in videos? <laughs> hey mom. Okay, next assumption is, I assume that you'll be moving to America. I assume that you live with your boyfriend. You are correct. Sometimes I threaten to kick him out if he doesn't give me enough massages, but for the time being, we live together. I massaged Sarah's feet for like a solid two hours yesterday. It was the best. He gets one more week living here. <laughs> My rent is a massage. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this one is so random. You're gonna cringe. This one is, <laughs> Kane is already shook, but you're gonna be way more shook when I read it. <laughs> you and Kane have been trying for a baby. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that is like, so not it, no. So that is it for all the questions that I'm gonna answer, all the assumptions. Hope you guys liked it. If you guys have more that you want me to answer, I am gonna reply to a bunch of comments. So hit me with some more assumptions in the comment section. Also, let me know if you guys wanna see another video like this because this was fun. I feel like we bonded. Did we bond? I feel like we bonded. If you guys did like this video though, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and also make sure to hit subscribe, hit the post notification bell and come follow me on Instagram in case I do something else like this so you guys can be a part of it. I always reply to comments over there and I will see you guys in my video next Sunday and every Sunday for the rest of 2019. Maybe more. Love you guys. Peace.